greetings i am bibhash sharma professor civil engineering department assam engineering college today i am going to talk about a very important topic utility of dam projects and myths associated with it the topic is very much debatable many opposite on the ground that these projects are not environment friendly yes there are negative consequences of these projects when we put a barrier in the river in the form of a dam the quality of water changes the existing aquatic life may not be able to sustain due to change in quality of water again there will be variation of flow in the downstream river now these variations may be within a day there will be very high flow during some period of time there will be low flow during some period of time and this again may affect the aquatic life but no project is approved when it threatens the very existence of rare species of animals and plants which are not found in any other places so we don't have to worry about that most of the negative effects can be minimized by taking proper measures though nothing can be done for few things like blockage of animal corridors etc now compared to negative effects positive effects are many uh, these are like your water supply irrigation to drought prone areas power generation without consumption of fuel this is very important then we can have navigation we can have fishery development recreation that means the tourism development we can have now again people have fears that these projects may lead to flood in the downstream areas but contrary to this belief actually dam projects are the best means of flood mitigation whenever a flood comes the reservoir can absorb the flood water so that downstream is protected when natural flood ceases this stored water can be released in gradual manner that means by reservoir or a dam project we can regulate the flow in a river for all these a proper reservoir operation policy clubbed with flood forecasting technique is necessary people also oppose these projects saying that a breach in dam due to earthquake may lead to catastrophic damages in the downstream Uh, yes there are few instances of failure of earthen dams or rock fill dams but nowadays concrete gravity dams are used for all reservoir projects there is no instances of failure of concrete gravity dam till now the dams are designed taking the maximum precautions and safety factors that means in case of a very high magnitude earthquake if it occurs the dam will be the last structure to fail that means all other structures will fail or all other things will fail before the failure of the dam we need development for our progress and to meet the growing demands we cannot destroy ecological balance in the name of development 
and at the same time cannot set, sacrifice all developments in the name of preserving ecology. There must be a balance between ecological development and economical development. We need safe dam projects taking all the precautions with minimum negative environmental consequences. Now, I like to give some examples of good and bad dam projects. The Ranganodi Hydropower Project in Ranganodi River in Arunachal Pradesh, India, is a bad example of such projects. This is a runoff river project. The runoff river project means the reservoir has minimum or almost negligible water storage capacity. In this project, water from Ranganodi River is diverted through a tunnel for power production and the water is released in a different river, that is a Dikrong River. As a result of this, the Ranganodi River downstream of the dam carries minimum water during normal time. Many plants have grown in the river bed downstream of the dam. This has resulted in the decrease of reverse flow carrying capacity. Now during flood time, when the gates are open, the river is not capable of carrying the discharge caused by flood. Remember again, the, these waters are not created by the dam. These are water coming from rainfall. A dam cannot create water. Since the Ranganodi project does not have storage capacity, it has to open the gates. That means even in absence of the uh, dam, there would have been flood. But this reservoir, this dam has actually, uh, what it has done, it reduced the carrying capacity of the river downstream of the dam. Another factor is that the deposited sediments in the reservoir comes to the river along with the flood water. Now sediments are deposited in the upstream of the dam. When the gates are opened, these sediments come to the river bed downstream of the dam and the river bed again rises. Thus the carrying capacity of river further decreases. It means more flood. When the river does not have the sufficient carrying capacity, water will come to the bank. So these are some negative effects of this project. Now the project could have been designed in cascade manner without diverting the water to Dikron river. That means water could have been released to the same river after producing power, which could have uh, actually maintained the flow. The good examples of dam projects are many. The Barapani Dam in Meghalaya, Doyang Hydropower Project in Nagaland, Untru Project in Meghalaya, the Tehri Dam, the famous Tehri Dam, all these are serving people for decades without much bad effects. So we have to remember every project is unique and the merit of the project should be determined by the facts of that project only. A prefix mind to oppose any dam project is suicidal for our development. So thank you all. I'm closing my lecture. Thank you.